What's up, YouTube? Stu Dog here. Sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. Just I've been really, really, really busy. And today I'm going to be doing my YCS Bar Oma, whatever you call it, YCS Spain review. The last YCS of the year. And to be honest, it was not that exciting at all. I mean, the coverage was great. The European coverage is just like a million times better than the USA coverage. But it was it was really not an exciting YCS like this format I I think is defined now that a Briz Rising's out, um, the top eight I mean Simon he topped again when he started two and two which was pretty good with agents, and then Stefan Lewis top four, him, he lost in the top four and there was like there was a lot of other good players there, I know like Jarrell Pro Winston and like Fraser Smith went. I don't think both any of them top though, but to go in. The top eight was four windups, um, which kind of really sucks because I hate windups a lot, and they just they just keep winning. I mean, there's nothing you can do to stop them unless have the hand trap, and they have a decent matchup against Mermills because they can side the D Fishers, um, which is pretty good. So four half of the top eight was windups, and there were. One Mermill, which is surprising. I thought like two would top. Um, it ended up going to the finals, but yeah, I I was surprised. I thought more Mermills would top, and then one random agents topped, which yeah, that's good. I mean, agents can still be in there, I guess. And then one macro rat or two rabbit act top aided, two macro rabbit, and it ended up winning the entire event, which I can see why. The guy opened pretty good game three. Oh, I think it was game three. It was either two or three. Just, he, he opened, like, Logia set five game three. Uh, you can see the feature match if you go, go to Google. And then, but yeah, Rabbit ends up winning it. Um, the deck list should be on the website pretty soon because Europe actually posts the top 32 deck lists on, like, USA. But yeah, it really wasn't that boring. I mean, this is, like, the big four right here. Like, last format, we had the big three. Insectors, Windups, Dino Rabbit. This is basically, like, the big four. Like, you have to be able to beat these decks if you want to do well. And, I mean, I'm just I'm just getting bored with some of these decks because Rabbit is so boring to play. Like, I have to play something more fun. But, yeah, I'm, these decks right here are still also good, even though they didn't really top 8. We'll see if they top 32 later on when the deck lists are posted on the website. Uh, I might actually have a couple of those deck profiles. I don't know. Like, on my channel, just for the heck of it. Um, but, yeah, Chaos Dragons. They're good if you don't get sacked by Macro. And Gear Gaia. I don't I don't get why Gear Gaia doesn't top anymore. I mean, I mean, it won a YCS. I mean, it used to top all the time, and now it seems like no one's playing it. I don't know why. And then, of course, Heroes, which I've always hated Heroes. But they do have a pretty decent Dino Rabbit matchup. A very good Agent matchup, and... Um, a decent wind-up matchup, and I don't know about the that matchup because I haven't played with heroes with it, but yeah, that's pretty much the YCS, the last YCS of the year. It wasn't that exciting. It was just, you know, standard decks, the meta wins. No random stuff topped, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos, and yeah, thanks.